welcome to the AgriLearn podcast. I'm your host, Raina Nalao, an emerging full time commercial farmer, as well as the brand ambassador of the Women and Youth Loan Scheme at the Agricultural Bank of Namibia. Now, today we are in the Oshikoto region in the Tsintabas district with one of AgriBank's loan beneficiaries. Farmer, good morning, or good day rather. Yeah. <laughs> Please be so kind to introduce yourself. Uh, good day, morning as well. <laughs> Uh, my name is Geoffrey uh -huh. Tangisha Gupe, mm -hmm. uh, born and raised in the north of Shakati. Mm -hmm. I'm now farming here in Oshikoto region, mm -hmm. uh, Tinsabes area, Tsumab district, mm -hmm. farm name uh, Valdenes. Okay. Yeah, this is where I am. All right. Now, what is it that you produce on your farm? I'm trying to produce tomatoes, as you can see, mm -hmm. and then on the other side uh, there is uh, cabbage, mm -hmm. uh, butternut, yeah. watermelon, mm -hmm. and green pepper as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I still I'm still learning to start and um, produce or plant other stuff, except this one that I mentioned now. All right, amazing. Now, what inspired you? to venture into farming. When did you venture into farming and what inspired you? <coughs> yeah, I was working in Wolfies Bay mm -hmm. as a quality controller officer. Yeah. And uh, through my stepdad, uh -huh. Mr. Clemens David Shifatoka, uh -huh. yeah, he, he gave me the green light. He is a full farmer. Mm -hmm. So he guided me through farming mm -hmm. and then uh, I fall in love with farming by visiting him, coming to the farm mm -hmm. uh, regular, mm -hmm. so I've now I'm now I'm so in love with farming. Oh wow! Yeah. So are you a full time or part time farmer? I'm actually a full time farmer. Okay. Now, when did you um, decide to seek a financial assistance um, from AgriBank, and what motivated you to seek financial assistance from AgriBank? Yeah, while I'm doing farming with my stepdad, mm -hmm. I end up buying here and there kettles. Mm -hmm. So I was forced now to, can I not have one day my own land? Yeah. Uh, and then um, I took a chance, mm -hmm. I took a risk to go to AgriBank mm -hmm. and ask for a loan. Uh, I want to buy a farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I, was, I was there and um, I give what they ask me. Mm -hmm. So today I'm a farm owner. Wow, that's through absolutely. through AgriBank. Through AgriBank, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Now, um, apart from the farm loan purchase um, that you received from 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 AgriBank, what other loan product did you apply for and receive, or was that just it? <laughs> no, I have um, so far. I got uh, three three loans. Three the first loans. one was the cattle loan, mm -hmm. and the third one, the second one. It's a land, uh -huh. the farm where I am today, uh -huh. and the third one was the implement, uh -huh. the equipment that I'm also having. What? So all those three, I got it through AgriBank. Through AgriBank. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. So what impact did um, the financial assistance from AgriBank have on your agribusiness? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's having a big impact mm. because if it wasn't of AgriBank, yeah. Yeah, I won't be where I am today. Yeah. So I'm here because of AgriBank. Mm -hmm. The cattle that I own, the land, the equipment, yeah. it's all AgriBank. Yeah. And I wish or I'm asking as well AgriBank to do it to others that are coming mm -hmm. also in the form that I am. Mm -hmm. So if they can help them the same they need to me. Mm -hmm. Right. So what does the future look like for you? Uh, let's talk about five years from now. How does, how does, what, what's, what's the future for your agribusiness? Uh, from now five years, I can't tell by, by looking of things. Mm -hmm. In five years, I can go a bit far than where I am today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I will be able to have or employ more workers mm -hmm. than that I have today. Yeah. And uh, the portions of land that I have created, it will be bigger mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five years, um, 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 I think I will be far. Okay. 
Yeah, if Angry Bang is still with me, yeah. they must not give up on me <laughs> with the three loan they gave me. Yeah. So I'm, um, and I can see their doors are open mm -hmm. and I'm still coming. Wonderful. Now, should you wish to expand um, and, 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 and grow your agribusiness on a larger scale, produce more tomatoes, more cabbages, uh, more green peppers and, and more watermelons, would you consider coming to Agribank for another loan? Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Why? Definitely. If I may ask. Um, all this, I can't do it alone. Yeah. I can't do it alone and, and it's costly. Mm. Yeah, you need someone to lean in to you. Yeah. It, it should be like a chain. Yeah. You alone, you won't go that far. So, and I'm having a brother that is Agribank. Yeah. So, I like I'm that. coming. You're coming. I'm coming. We for look you. forward to, to, to seeing you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Hopefully yeah. not too long from now. Hey? Uh -uh, even tomorrow. Monday even tomorrow. I'm in the office. <laughs> I'm filling some forms there. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so now um, our theme for this season is food security. How do you as a farmer contribute towards food security in Namibia? Yeah. <clears throat> I said um uh, last of last year with this corona thing mm. when our when they cross the border it's open it's closed mm. i could see if we don't produce more food for ourselves for our nation yeah somehow we're gonna be stuck 100%. so and uh, we have the land mm -hmm. yeah we have the energy to push mm. we have agri being on our side to help us mm. why can we not yeah. uh, plant and um come up with more uh, food security mm, yeah hundred percent we're approaching the end of today's episode <coughs> but before I let you go yeah. what is your message to your fellow farmers as well who want um, let's say or are considering to 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 approach Agribank for financial assistance yeah fellow farmers or not even a farmer if you want to become a farmer maybe you can talk to them right there yeah fellow <laughs> farmers or you are not even yet a farmer you want to become a farmer yeah same as I came to Agribank, I wasn't the farmer that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, Agribank is willing to help. He helped me so far where I am today. So uh, an Agribank will not, uh, he will ask you a lot of questions. They want also to be secure. They are getting their money back. 100%. And uh, if you get the land, please make sure you're going to use the land. Mm. Yeah, I know I'm not perfect. It's just like a small portion that I'm trying here. But end of the day, I will be able to pay back or pay a portion to Agribank mm. their loans that they helped me. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Now, yeah. One more question. Who do you supply to? Who's your, who, who's your market? Because now you have a lot of tomatoes that you're harvesting here and you still have cabbages on the other side that you need to harvest. Who do you supply to? Uh, I supply the informal market, okay. but like as you say, it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to me, and it's when I go in the market, people are fighting one another. Why you don't give me two crates? Yeah, yeah. But uh, the market is open, mm. and then uh, the supermarket, mm. special uh, markets from SA, mm -hmm. Shoprite, Pick and Pay. Yeah they have to start and come and support us mm. so not just we are doing this and we just give informal so they should also come and support us they should come to me and say oh Geoffrey please I need one ton of tomatoes yeah. this is the quality yeah. this is the quantity I want yeah. and we think and I can see we can deliver okay. let's not just apply the informal them should also come on board mm -hmm. 100%. Mm. Now, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Until then, it's bye-bye. Hello, lady. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Please be so kind to introduce yourself. My name is um, Elise mm -hmm. Eno Elifasa. Uh -huh. I'm a farmer in a first grown um, farm uh -huh. in Hard Up region, uh -huh. Mata Head District. Um, normally, I'm farming with, I'm a mixed farmer. Okay. Um, where I have livestock, mm -hmm. cattle, bonsmara, breeder, mm -hmm. breed, not a breeder, commercial, mm -hmm. and uh, small stock, goats and sheep. Okay. And then we have crop section that we are normally focusing on leaf crops. Okay. 
So and we have uh, poultry, uh -huh. we have broiler farming, uh -huh. and we also have layers. We have uh, around about uh, 800 layers. Wow. So we normally produce eggs, roughly 500 eggs a day. Wow. So you are a whole diverse um, farmer, poultry production, livestock production, small stock, large stock, and then you have your crop uh, production as well. Yes, you may say like Oh, that. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so you yeah. said your agribusiness is situated in Malta Head Malta. Malta. Um, district uh -huh. in Harda Bridge. All right. Now, what inspired you to venture into farming? Uh, really what inspired me, mm -hmm. I'm from um, a communal farmer, mm -hmm. my parents, both mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. Up to now, they are farming in communal area. Mm -hmm. And then I venture, I'm also an I graduate in agriculture from the Polytechnic of Namibia. Wow. Uh, what really inspired me, it's um, my background, mm -hmm. as I said. Mm -hmm. So we were wholly depending on farming, mm. either mahangu, uh, cattle. Mm. I remember also when um, I got admitted at um, Polytech, mm. my, I didn't get a loan for the first two years. Mm. So my parents have to sell cattle to see me through for all those two years, mm. either paying tissues, my tax money, and also my accommodation. It yeah. was scattered for. That's really what inspired me to be a, a farmer. Mm today wow that's amazing now what uh, um sorry when did you seek financial assistance from um agribank and what motivated you to seek for financial assistance from the bank after my graduation uh -huh. in 2011 yeah i was unemployment for mm -hmm. almost five years yeah during that time mm -hmm. uh, i start um, uh, um, applying for resettlement mm -hmm. farms mm -hmm. so it was actually my first application what when i applied for the very first time uh -huh. that was in 2015 yeah then uh, i received a call that i was one of the fortunate peasant wow that's to amazing get, uh, <laughs> your, fir your first application very first time wow okay and i was not believing myself really <laughs> but i was not even minding where was this farm was uh. what i wanted it mm -hmm. to get a farm yeah and I remember also my when I was at Polytech, mm -hmm. we were having a lecture by mm. her name. Now she's a doctor, Dr. Mwele. Mm. She's a woman and she always encourages, like, I can't, you should be a farmer, you should own a farm. You yeah. should not be a graduate that whereby you go look for a job. You should be the, a, a job creator. Mm. So that really also has an impact on me. Yeah. And then I apply for a, a loan, mm -hmm. a loan in... Um, 20, when I got a farm in 2015, yeah, uh, that is the same year I got. Uh, uh, I also applied for a loan uh -huh. in 2015, okay. and it was also approved the same year. Wow! And uh, yeah, <laughs> amazing. All right. Mm. So, what type of loan did you apply for in 2015? The loan that I got from, uh, or I applied for, it was a post resettlement loan. Okay. Obviously, when you got um, resettled, yeah unit you are automatically qualified mm -hmm. to get uh, a 200,000 mm. so when I came from to Agribank from Agribank yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when I came to get my unit uh -huh. then the Minister of Land told me no uh -huh. you are automatically qualified to apply for a, a loan of 200,000 mm -hmm. immediately uh, the same month mm. I did apply for for the post settlement uh, loan yeah in the, it's it's a little retail, little to start with, but yeah. it's it's better than hundred percent. It's yeah. better than it's better because than. some of us, who, you are from the north, you can't bring those animals from the north yeah. to the southern side. So it's a startup. It's a startup whereby I bought uh, my first kettle. Wow! I bought some uh, 30, 30 goats uh -huh. and twenty sheep, mm -hmm. and then I also use part of that mm -hmm. loan to to install a solar. Mm. a solar borehole yeah. at my unit oh wow yeah that's amazing did you apply for any other loan afterwards or was that the start and the end no after that after i got a, a personal loan uh -huh. i was um, i was not uh, employed mm. somewhere else but then i came to get um, employed in 20 in 2016 mm -hmm. then in 2017 
I applied for a personal loan. Uh -huh. um, so my next question to you is, should you wish to um, expand your agribusiness, maybe to add more livestock or expand your crop uh, um, business, would you consider applying for another loan through Agribank? I would love to apply for another loan. Mm. The reason being the interest for Agribank is very low yeah. and it's affordable. Mm. So I, I even actually went back and asked, yeah. can I apply for another loan? Mm. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's something that I will not uh, hesitate. Mm. Uh, getting another loan from Agribank. Mm -hmm. I would uh, really love to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I actually for want to get a loan on Agribank on poultry. Okay. Because I want to go big on uh, poultry. Uh -huh. Being uh, because of the drought, this, some mm -hmm. of these things that happen. And then I sold most of my cattle mm -hmm. during drought. And uh, also where the farm is treated, it's uh, drought prone. Uh, pr prone. Mm -hmm. The grazing is not that good on large stock. Yeah. But small stock I'm doing very well mm -hmm. on uh, goat and sheep. Yeah. And also when I venture into poultry, yeah. it's also doing good. So I want to get another loan just to extend yeah. my poultry business. All right. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, since you're a diverse farmer, livestock, crop, poultry how do you contribute towards food security um, in the country or if we should even just you know narrow it down how do you contribute towards food security in the malta here district mm, my contribution toward food security mm. i'm a producer of food mm. so i'm not doing this one uh, this uh, production for myself yeah i'm doing it to gain income i'm mm. doing it also to employ people yeah so i did i'm um, actually contributing because i'm producing food yeah. for others yeah. not only for myself yeah and when i sell i sell to others yeah so that they can have uh, food at their household yes there are really people who don't we are not all food sufficient yes so we are doing this to produce food so that we contribute to the food secure of our country wonderful well said we're coming to the end of uh, today's interview but before I let you go, what is your message to your fellow women and youth? I believe you still fall under the youth category. Yes, yes I'm, still, <laughs> I'm just I'm still, making sure. <laughs> I'm still uh, falling under youth. I'm still not that yeah. over yet. Not okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. But so, soon I will be over. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, my advice: mm -hmm. I actually don't um, like to put myself onto gender issues. Okay. No, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So yeah, yeah. because I believe on uh, that what others can do mm. i can also do it 100 percent. and uh, when it's come to farming you should uh, love f agriculture you should love farming yeah don't just go there because you had elise is the owner of bonsimara mm. is a mixed farmer having all these type of things mm. otherwise you end up a, a failure yeah so my advice is whenever you want to venture into farming mm. you should have the love you should be uh, have any interest on what you are doing yeah. because when it's come to farming mm. it's not a fast business yeah the return on your investment it's not fast 100 percent. so it will take you five years mm. for me when i started in 20, 2015 mm -hmm. i was actually struggling just to keep with a hope that one day I will be there. Mm. So once you venture into agriculture, you should have a love of it. Mm -hmm. You should uh, take it slow. Don't uh, go in saying that I want to be a millionaire. They said yeah. um, the next farmer, the next generation, mm. the next billionaire is yeah. uh, their farmers. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. But you should work toward your billionaire uh, calling. 100%. So let's uh, venture into farming. Let's uh, feed our nation. Let's become uh, job creators mm. that's i think that's all all right <laughs> no thank you so much for your time miss eliphas okay highly thank appreciate you. it um we drove all this way to come and see you and we must say it was worth it okay thank you you are 100%. welcome i really also love agribank throughout mm -hmm. so i'll be there I'll be, i will obviously come back for another loan uh, we hope so <laughs> <laughs>
Hello lady, please introduce yourself first. Hi, my name is Tania Karhu. Uh -huh. um, I'm 24 years of age. Uh -huh. um, I was born in Khibion, mm -hmm. grew up in Khibion, mm -hmm. finished school in Khibion, and here I am now at Farm Kranz Plus, a uh -huh. few kilometers away from Khibion. All right. Yes. <laughs> now, what is it that you produce and where is your agribusiness um, located? Um, I'm a small livestock farmer. Uh -huh. Uh, and currently the business is um, located at Farm Kranz Plus. Mm -hmm. It's eight kilometers uh, from Khibion. Oh wow, yes. that's amazing. <laughs> what inspired you to venture into farming? Uh, I always used to tell my siblings um, that what men can do, women can do as well. So my biggest support system in all of this was my parents. Mm. So um, there was this one time when I I was working as a cashier and driver at uh -huh. a small shop, uh -huh. so um, I used to uh, buy stock in uh, Bariental mm -hmm. and um, one day we went there, my boss's cousin mm -hmm. was the one who wanted to do the, the application. Uh -huh. So I decided that let me walk into what these guys said here. Uh -huh. What's so special about this loan? Uh -huh. So the agribank loan. Yes, now. the agribank okay. loan. <laughs> okay. So I went in and then I was just there standing, mm -hmm. uh, listening to the conversations. Uh -huh. He only wanted the form, but yeah. that's not what I wanted to hear. Uh -huh. uh, what were the requirements or what are the documents that I needed for the application? Mm -hmm. So that was the only question I asked and they told me, no, you need this and that. So I went back to Khibion and decided, let me work on this ass assignment. Uh -huh. so it, it felt like an assignment to me, yeah. so I started working on it. All right, yes. wonderful. So, so when did you decide to seek financial assistance from Agribank and what motivated you to seek financial assistance from Agribank? Okay, um, I, was, I was working as a cashier in, in Khibion, mm -hmm. uh, cashier and driver. So, uh, in a week, I had to travel like twice, uh, two days in a week for me to go buy stock and stuff. Yeah. So my boss's cousin uh -huh. was the one who wanted to make the loan. So I decided that uh, let me enter with these guys into Agribank and then hear what, what is beneficial, what are the advantages of uh, having the loan. Mm -hmm. So I went in, they were only looking for the application form, mm -hmm. but that's not what I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. And then I asked one question like, what documents, what are the requirements and what documents do I need mm -hmm. to, to apply for the loan? And yeah. then I was told, no, you need this and that. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and when was this? Uh, it was last year. Okay. October. Okay. That's when we went there. And October 2021. 2021, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then uh, I went home. I told my parents about it, but they already knew. So we mm. talked about it a little bit. And then um, I told them that I want to try this. Uh -huh. So you have to give me from, from, from your crawl uh. at least um, 10 mm -hmm. goats, 5 yeah. sheep because I want to try this yeah. and see how far it goes. Uh -huh. So um, when I had to go give in the form, something was always missing. Yeah. So yeah. I had to uh, collect it, come back again. So it was a lot. Imagine <laughs> petrol. Of course, <laughs> yes. yes, yes. So um, eventually December 2021, mm -hmm. that's when I gave in my form mm -hmm. and everything was completed. Yeah. So they called me in February mm -hmm. and they wanted to do an inspection. February when? February 2022. Okay. Because it was a rainy season so it, they had difficulty with coming to the farm and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so February, after that your loan was approved? It was approved in July. In July. Yes. Okay. 2022. Yes. 2022. Yes. And then you got your livestock. I got my livestock. So how many <laughs> livestock did you buy? Uh, 40 ewes uh -huh. and um, two two rams. Two rams. Yes. Oh, wonderful. That's absolutely amazing. Now, what type of loan did you apply for? It was for the ERFP. ERFP. Yes. Emerging retail financing product. Product. Yes. That's that's amazing. All right, now let's move on to our next questions. So, um, what what difference did this loan make in your agri business? It is um, 
made so much so many differences like mm -hmm. I am currently able mm. to sustain myself financial wise mm. um, I I could create co um, employment yeah. for the community as I have two um, guys that are looking after my stuff right now mm -hmm. uh -huh. and yeah wow that's amazing so you created employment and you got um, additional livestock yes. for you that's that's absolutely amazing now should you wish to expand your agribusiness let's say you want to get more um, ewes and rams mm -hmm. or you want to buy now let's say sheep and so forth would you come back to agribank um, for another loan product I would definitely <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely um, without hesitation without hesitation uh -huh. okay okay uh -huh. I'm not even scared to like go mm. and do another loan mm. uh, because I, I want this to expand. Yeah. I want to be a master breeder. A master breeder. A master breeder, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. I see myself, or I see my, I see doing myself, I doing for myself a lot. Mm -hmm. So I want to, I want to um, reach so many goals. Mm. Uh, I might panic sometimes, yeah. but you know, they say um, uh, you can't, uh, you have to take risks yeah. in order to succeed. Yeah. So that's what I believe in. That's amazing. And that's what I've set my mind to. That's amazing. So how do you, as a young farmer, contribute towards food security in the country or let's even just bring it close how do you contribute towards food security in Khibion? Uh As I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, I have two guys that are looking after the livestock. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, I'm creating employment, yeah. which then uh, decreases the rate of unemployment. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are able to sustain, and uh, they are able to have an income with that. Mm. So um, yeah, all right. <laughs> We're coming to the end of this interview. So to my knowledge, you are probably the youngest mentee under the Agri-Advisory Services Division program. What is your message to your fellow Namibian women and especially the youth who want to venture into farming or consider taking up a loan through Agribank? Okay, uh, my message would mainly go out to young women. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, because I believe in the saying that what men can do, mm -hmm. women can do as well. Yeah. And what I saw in this is that it's more interesting when women do it. Uh -huh. So I would encourage every young person to make use of the opportunities given to us. Mm -hmm. uh, opportunities are there. Yeah. We are just not making use of the information or going out to seek for information. Yes. So. Um, Therefore, I would encourage young people mm -hmm. and say that everything does not always go about cities. Yeah. Does not always go about alcohol, mm. drugs, pregnancy, mm. young uh, teenage pregnancies. But there's a lot that we are missing out, and especially when it comes to farming mm -hmm. and or to programs uh, located to agriculture mm -hmm. so um, I would encourage them to make use of the Agribank loan it's available for all of us mm. whether you are employed unemployed yeah uh, as young as I am here mm -hmm. I see myself um, uh, succeeding yes of course and uh, reaching higher goals yeah and objectives yeah so the loan is there yeah. make use of it all right I have made use of it you can uh -huh. you can be your own boss I'm currently my own yes, boss. yes you are <laughs> <laughs> yes you are yes <laughs> and that's amazing and that's amazing yes. right <laughs> uh -huh. feels to be it uh -huh. feels very nice to be your own boss yeah so yeah all right no that's amazing thank you so much for your time Tanya okay. and you know for really making time to um, accommodate us mm -hmm. right here on your farm it's we know it's not easy being a full-time farmer yes. but <laughs> <laughs> you, you're making it look easy you're yes. making it look uh -huh. easy so thank you so much for your time and we hope to see you a few years from now of course, probably having more sheep uh -huh. more goats 
um, cattle even and so yes. forth, you know, and your own farm yes. through AgriBank. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Until then, it's bye-bye.